Hello everyone, this is Suzanne. I wanted to jump back on here today to show you some yarn and a finished disc cloth that I did. But I also wanted to let you know that my book, my Bible study notes came in the mail today. And it has places in here. Okay, first of all, it gives you a one year reading schedule, which is Similar to what we're doing, except they do three chapters a day. Very similar. And I really like that part. Now, here's the format. You have the date, and then scripture passages that you're reading, which tomorrow will be Genesis 9 through 12. And then the key verse that um, stuck out for you to write it down, and then personal application and this is where I do my praying through the Bible and I do my devotion for that day. It's working out very well for me so far. I did get my bigger notebook and I basically wrote down the same format here because I have a little bit more room to write because I'm just as chatty on paper as I am in person. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, I just wanted to give you that little tip. I hope you're enjoying this Bible study. I know I am. All right, now, I found this in my stash, and I thought maybe I would start sharing some yarn out of my stash with you just to show you some yarns that I bought on clearance a couple years back for my birthday. My husband and daughter each gave me $100. Yeah, can you imagine? To go shopping for yarn, it wasn't quite near my birthday, but Joanne's was having this huge clearance sale. Wow, it's the best one I ever took part in. I was so overwhelmed. Well, this is one of those yarns. It was on clearance for $4.47, and it was 25% off on top of that. So that's an extra dollar and something off. So it was really a good deal. This is the Premier Everyday Plaid. I believe they still have this available on their website, and Joanne's might have it available in their stock. But isn't that pretty? Kind of reminds me of Christmassy colors. This is the scarf on the front. So I've never worked with this. I'm anxious to try it sometimes. It's going to go in my waiting to be made into something bin. <laughs> that would be all my yarn, right? But this has a nice 360 yards. Again, it's anti-pilling, and it's a medium four weight. Mm, my favorite yarn. So I thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing that. And then here's a dishcloth that I finished up. I'll try to remember what pattern this was. It's in my um, notepad of my collected uh, patterns, and I'll try to figure out which one it was. But it went really quick. And I made this a while back, and I just didn't get time to do my ends in, which I will do tonight. I've almost got all my ends and all my current projects tucked in. I've learned to do that as I go along. It saves a lot of time and trouble later. All right, everyone, I just wanted to jump on real quick to make you aware of my Bible study notepad and how I wrote out how I'm going to do mine every day. Maybe this will be useful to you. Uh, why don't you tell me some of your Bible study methods and, you know, and how you go about doing your study. That would be awesome. And what's on your hook? You know, I've been sharing with you. I do have a crochet bugs bite page. That's down below in the description box. Gallop on over there and subscribe and start posting some pictures of what you make. I would love to have you over there also. So, yeah. All right, everyone, it's almost time to make dinner. We, like I say, we just got back from our walk. It was very refreshing. We found a huge, huge family Bible in the book box today. It's large print, and my husband's been struggling with reading sometimes. So, you know, it weighed like almost seven pounds, but we lugged it home, and we made it. So, yeah, we're excited about that. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.